Welcome back to this week's YouTube channel. So I did a thing, which by the looks of it, a lot of people have been doing because it's 2020. Thankfully there's only two months left, but sure look, we don't know what next year holds, but anyway. So for the last two months of the year, I'm gonna sit and twinkle. It's very early to be putting up your Christmas tree, but that's fine because no rules apply to 2020. Normally in Ireland, it's more of a tradition to do, I think the 8th of December is a date. Um, but sure it's only up when it's down then, do you know what I mean? So I am not going to make any more excuses. I did this because I wanted to. <laughs> so in this week's video we are going to be decorating the house. I'm going to get straight into the first Christmas tree which is from behind me and that is in the bedroom. I have this bedroom Christmas tree, it's very luxurious isn't it? Um, but I actually have it for like work so the neighbours can't see this one so when it's not 2020 I do put this one up early, you probably would have seen it in the past like few years um, because it's handy if I need to like shoot anything, if I have any jobs on or like freelance work and they need a Christmas theme, I can set this up. But I did put up the main living room tree, so I'm going to start with this one and then we can decorate the living room as well. And I have a little bit in the kitchen, not much. So first off is the bedroom tree. It is very bougie to have a Christmas tree in your bedroom, but while I have this space, this tree actually spends most of the year under the bed because that's where I store it because the other one is up in the attic. So I have this one under the bed. So I'm just setting it up and I am no Christmas tree expert, but the one tip I can give you is if you're using an artificial tree to spend some time fluffing out the branches because I think if you can get it looking as fluffy and full it's not gonna look as fake. A real Christmas tree is nice but I put mine up so early it would probably be dead by December. I store my Christmas decorations in clear boxes it just makes them easier to get at in the attic and I can also see what's inside the boxes. Now last year I wasn't very organized and I must have just thrown random stuff in the boxes but I did have fun rummaging through and seeing what Christmas trinkets I did find. For this tree I'm actually going to be using some Poundland stuff so I have a bag of baubles that I got from Deals. I worked with them about three years ago and I kept all of the little baubles and trinkets so I'm kind of going for like a gold and purple theme for this tree. Um, now the sprigs that I'm just putting on, I got them a couple of years ago, they're a bit more expensive. I think I got them in Harvey Norman, but I have no new Christmas decor, I'm just reusing what I already have. about to witness me demolish my Christmas tree. Oh yes, so I don't have a tree skirt because I think I'm gonna DIY one or do one of those DIY boxes for the base. I wanted to put it on this rug and yeah, my tree fell over and Blondie judged me. But don't worry, I was able to fix it and all was grand. Thank you. 
lot of living has been done in the living room, especially this year because we just seem to be at home every day. <laughs> Because I am lighting the fire this year and I'm using my open fire, I'm quite sensitive about the decorations that I'm putting on top. So I am just thinking of safety. So I am putting things on hooks that are drilled in because I can like fill it when I'm finished. I'm handy like that. But I want things to be like not a falling into the fire hazard. So I have popped on. You'll see I'm putting some socks on. However, I do remove them when lighting the fire. I actually shorten the ribbon as well. So when the fire is lit, they're actually okay. But when the fire has been lighting for a long time, I notice that the sequins become hot. So I just remove them and just make sure to use like your fire guard. So last year I would have had loads of stuff on my fireplace, but this year, not as much because I am just thinking. Also, if you see those little nutcrackers, my niece and nephew are obsessed with them. They were actually over for Halloween and my nutcrackers were just out, like coming out of storage and they were playing with them more than anything else. Um, so the tree I use for my living room is bigger. And again, I'm just following the same instructions. Pepsi's giving me a hand. And I just make sure to fluff this out because this one can look a little bit gappy. So I have to make sure that I really spread out each of the branches to make them look full and the same thing I don't have any mad Christmas tree decorating tips or hacks but for this one I use ribbon to try and fill in the gaps in the middle and I just layer the tree I suppose I start with ribbons and um, I fill in the gaps I put some tree sprigs on this one just to lighten the color and um, I would love a white flocked one but like the one I have is totally fine and yeah I just layer up the Christmas tree and just fiddle with it until I like it. that is the house this year because it's up so soon i'll probably end up moving things around um a little bit more yesterday i had a netflix day i had the fire lit i had the twinkly lights on blondie was in her little bed pepsi was beside me and it was just so cozy because it was raining outside you can probably hear the rain and i was like okay lockdown part two it's not so bad when there is twinkly lights. There's a lot to be said for the twinkly light. I know a lot of you guys in the US hang out for like Thanksgiving. So you will wait until like Thanksgiving is done and then put up your Christmas decor, which is totally cool. Um, I think this year, whatever you want to do, I'm like, do it. You don't wanna put your tree up, don't do it. You wanna do it, put it up, each to their own. 
coping mechanisms. This is my coping mechanism. <laughs> Anyone who's followed for a while would know that myself and Karen would do our like annual Christmas day out where we would go to like garden centres, have a little look around, get any Christmas like decor bits that we wanted but sadly this year we were hoping that we would be able to do it but we can't. Uh, everywhere's closed and 5k restriction and no visits so in December we're hoping we can have a Christmas day out um, but who knows. Um, I have been chatting to her and we are a bit bummed but we know there'll be other Christmas day outs. So that's me for this week. Let me know in the comment section below if you are going to do it. If you're going to do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> put up the tree. If you are going to put up the tree that little bit earlier this year. Just to keep sane and cosy. Or are you going to stick to tradition and do what you normally do. Stick it up a little bit later or in December. Let me know in the comment section below. Cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you next week. Bye.